from YouTube. Um, I am just going to show today my uh, Intuos Wacom A5 tablet. I thought I'll, you know, push a video up, you know, um, and to show you uh, what it's like, you know. Um, some people might not even have this model or might have another model which is not what they wanted or, you know, this one would, you know, show what it can do, you know. Um, I'll do something really quickly. I, I might not be talking because, you know, when you concentrate, you don't talk, you know. So, just gonna really do something quick. And to be fair, I am not a good drawer, so I'm not. I'm always critical of myself, but I mean, you know, there's obviously going to be a lot more better people than me. But his eyes are not even the same length for. I mean, like, some of the strokes are quite nice, you can get on this. You know, you can really add mood to the picture. I mean, you know, just a light blue, you know, uh, colour at the moment. You know, you can use, you know, the black, but I don't know. I like using I like using the colours a bit more, you know, when you're doing a sketch. Um, oh, this is hot. This is terrible. <laughs> There's it here, right. Just gonna do this really quick. We're even just gonna join it up. But I mean, you know, um at the moment I'll I'll say I am looking straight at the screen. And I'm trying to do this quick. I mean if you had a lot more time you can um, get a better effect. something like that right the nose would be something there people do this mouth a little mouth with a little gap I'm not sure why I always do a little if it's a man I'd always do the you know the line under the chin um, you know it forms a little better than the blushing lines but yeah it's just something really quick um, I mean, you can build up different kind of tones in it if you want, make different lines. But I mean, even if you're going sketchy like I'm trying to do here, you know, you can still get a good effect even on, uh, you know, even on the character. I mean, this is not good, and I've done it in about a few seconds. Didn't do any, you know, construction lines or anything. Um, I would say construction line, construction lines help. Um, yeah, I just always start on the face. I'm not sure. And eyes are always my first thing I do. I, don't, I think when you do the eyes, you can plot the face. I reckon from the eyes, you know. So you know a little bit down will be the nose in the center, etc. So depending on the you know, kind of pose you can do, you can do that. But then, you know, when you've done the head, you're thinking, right, the neck should be there. And then, you know, the body could come down like that. I'm doing it. So it'll come like that, like, like he's looking behind him or whatever, you know. Or you can even have his arm up in the air or whatever, yeah. Or whatever. Anyway. So from the face, I reckon you can um, build a good start on what the body would be, you know, from that. And, you know, it works your way down. Other people, you know, start body first and then plot the other stuff around it. I find it's easier going from top to bottom. Um you know when you're doing that you can find areas you can maybe have a you know you're thinking oh my legs are too small so it's easily to adjust it because you've already done the body you know so um i like doing it that way um with the whack on you know very easy to use um unlike the a6 one i don't feel like i'm going off the page which happened a lot on the other one i mean i would i'll be doing something like this on the neck and i'll be like I look at my hand and think, right, is it off? And it usually is on the edge, you know. On this one, 
A5 one. Uh, it's not exactly massive because you can get A4, etc. But um, it's perfect for what you need. You know, the pen is very nice to uh, move. Mouse is not that great on it, but it does a job if you want to, you know, um, move away and, you know, uh, change uh, brushes and stuff like that. Um, you know, everything about it, even the little shortcuts and the little zoomer is quite nice. Um, you know, I really like it. You know, you can get different brushes for it um, as well, you know, different kind of tones. And then um, I'll do this bit with the mouse now. Right, and if you go over here, you can expand and save your favorite brush. So you can have one perfect just for sketching, you know, like kind of like this, you know, um, of different tones, maybe one that's a little bit lighter, etc. Um, so you can just save that there, click it, and use it, which is quite handy as well. Over here, this is, you know, Photoshop CS3, as you can see. Um, only difference, really, there's not that much. You know, a bit of, I think there's added 3D stuff, I think you can open. Um, a 3D kind of file from Max. Anyway, um, but yeah, you can expand that even if you don't like the new long one. I like the long one, so I'm going to keep it like that. So, to sum it up, um, yeah, I've not really had no problems. Installed it fine, used it fine. Um, everything about it is great, you know. Um, I mean, if you draw, I mean, it's a necessity. It's not even an option. I mean, you know, I, you could just be doing it for about a couple uh, of hours, just drawing and drawing. It's really fun and addicting, you know. Um, it's more fun than drawing with pencil, I reckon, you know. And you can always do, you know, just um, go a bit further on it, like I have done on a few of my sketches, which I'll show. Um, this is my second sketch I did. As you can see a lot, you know, just I was just playing with lines and stuff like that. Just really weakly coloured it in, you know, I mean... You know, it was just a simple gradient, that colour layer. Then using the burn tool, I mean, this is not how you properly do it. And look, there's still some dark bits from the background on, on the hair. But it was just to show, you know, uh, you know what, what it would look like, you know, with colours. And that was a sketch. I mean, that was my second sketch. I've done a few sketches since then. Not a lot, though. I had to admit, because I've been doing other things. Um, but it's just fantastic, you know. If you have got the money then I'd recommend you get it. Um, I'm going to finish off with two things I would recommend. Um, one thing is if you're a student or know a student, then try to find a business website you can get it from. You can get ones at the education version. I got mine as an education version. Um, I probably got it um, UK money, probably a little, uh, I don't know, from a shop. Say it was 299 in shops. I got it for like 140, 150, whatever. So you can save quite a lot if you're in education, like I am. So you know, it's it's worth it. You know, um, I'll I'll be using it uh, little and often, but hopefully you can improve your skills using this. So yeah, there's not you know, it's really comfortable to use. More comfortable than I realised it would be. Um, I'm not even going to show you my first sketch because that was just absolute diabolical. You can see from the picture, way too big the face, hair's a bit messy, body, you know, I won't even talk about that. But yeah, hopefully um, this could persuade people um, to buy uh, this because it's a great product. Um, yeah, and the last tip would be, um, this is how you would do it on the computer is you know have enough space around you and when you do it, look solely at the you know screen do not even look at your hand once i mean you get the after you get the feel uh, for it after a while and you know you know where your hand is and you know where to go after a while it follows you you know when you're doing it and it's a lot